Photos are a century-old invention that store two-dimensional memories. Isn't it time technology improved upon it? For this week's project, I'm going to show you how you can convert 2D photographs into 3D models and then print them out as actual 3D objects. Turning photographs into 3D models usually requires some heavy duty modeling skills and a lot of time. But thanks to the Autodesk folks and their series of 1 2 3D software, making 3D models is not only easy, it's also free. The one program I want to focus on in particular is 1 2 3D Catch. This program, which is available for Windows and iPad, allows you to convert pictures into 3D models. Here's how it works. Find something that you want to convert into 3D and place it on a surface with lots of unique points. I chose a newspaper. Make sure there's plenty of lighting and start taking pictures of it. If you have an iPad, you can take pictures directly into the 123D program using the 123D Catch app. Take at least 20 pictures from all different angles. Once you're satisfied, use the 123D Catch program to create a new capture. Select all the photos that you took of your object and click Create Project, and then wait for the program to process your 3D model. When it's through, you should see something like this. Hopefully it processed into the 3D model correctly the first time. If it didn't, don't worry, you can fix it. At the bottom of the window, you'll see a list of pictures that you took. Some may be dimmed out, which means they didn't process correctly. What you want to do is double click on these and it'll open up into the manual points tool. What you want to do here is click to create a reference point on that image. Then scan through the images on the right side to mark that same reference point. When you have at least two references for that point, it should turn green. You should make at least three more points before the image can be processed. The images that have correct reference points will have a green marker like this. Once you've processed all of the dimmed out images, right click on any image that doesn't have a green marker and add manual points to them as well. You should now hopefully have a nice 3D model of your object. So then you can take the lasso tool up here and select and delete any unwanted parts of the model. After that, go to File, Export Capture As, and make sure to select .obj. Now you can take any free 3D editing program such as Blender, or Mesh Mixer in my case, and import your model into it. The great thing about Mesh Mixer is that it'll highlight any holes in the mesh that need to be filled. And if we're going to print this out on a 3D printer, we should fill these holes first. So click Inspector, and for the small holes, just double click on the blue ball next to it. For holes at the base of the object, we want them to be flat. To do this, first right click on the blue ball, and then go to Edit, Erase, and Fill. It'll look crazy at first, but then just reduce the scale until the ballooning goes away. Next, you want to smooth out the boundaries by going to Modify Selection, Smooth Boundary. Lastly, you can go to Edit, Extrude, and select Flat for the end type and Z axis for the direction. Then you can extrude a flat base by adjusting the offset. Now just go to File, Export, and select the STL format to save it as. From here you can do two things. If you have a 3D printer, you can open it up in Replicator G, center it, put it on the platform, convert it to G code, and print it out. If you don't have the luxury of a 3D printer, you can download Autodesk's 123D Make, which allows you to open up the STL file, convert it into slices, and print it out so that you can cut it out in cardboard to make a layered model. This is just the basic DIY version of object replication. Being able to replicate objects like this in the future holds amazing possibilities for sending gifts, building computers, and making medical equipment. If you make something cool, feel free to post it as a video response. For more weekend projects, go to tinkernut.com, and until next time, hack some fun into your weekend.